I'm in a psycho battle. I know how to handle my kid. If you knew how to handle your kid, they'd know how to behave in our home. You know, ice cream service sounds real good right now. <laughs> Claire and Grace need the security of knowing that there is a grown-up in control. That's okay. Just don't tell me how to raise my kid. How about Rocky Road? Well, maybe we just shouldn't stay here. Don't tell me. That would be great, Marty. Take the easy way out and run away again. Well, it's pretty obvious that you don't want us living here. Oh, no, you're not going to pull that on me. I love having you guys here. And we love being here. <laughs> and I can feel the love. <laughs> Unbelievable. I don't want them riding bikes in the house and I'm the bad guy. Thanks for bailing on me, Ken. I wasn't bailing on you. I was acting like a peacekeeper. They should have your kind of peacekeeping in the Middle East. Shooting stars you send out for Chucky Monkey. They're riding bikes in the house. They weren't invading occupied territory. Look, I agreed to help you with your brother. You've got to help me here. Even if I don't believe what you're doing is right? You know what I'm doing is right. No, I don't know this. You just don't want to take sides. That's what makes me a great peacekeeper. No, that makes you wishy-washy. I think maybe you better back off. Okay, okay, I'll back off if I know that I've got your support. If things get, you know, completely out of control. If things get completely out of control, you have my support 110%. How do you define completely out of control? <laughs> you define it. I'll know it when I have to clean it up. <laughs> Hell with you and be in this house with my brother. Oh, I 
didn't think it was Marty who was doing all the screaming. No, Claire. That girl screams louder than Al's mom and tried to take away her pudding. <laughs> well, have you and Jill tried to deal with the situation? Of course I tried to talk to him. It doesn't do any good. Well, what'd you say to him? Told him everything he was doing wrong. <laughs> oh, golly. Marty wasn't responsive to that. <laughs> Impossible to talk to him. You know, I want to help him, but I'm running out of speeches. Well, you know, Jim is someone whose first impulse is to speak to I can promise you that isn't always the best solution. I don't want to get his attention. Atomic wedgie. <laughs> you know, sometimes, Tim, instead of sharing my wisdom, I try to give people the benefit of my experience. What experience of mine would be helpful to Marty? Tim, you have helped raise three terrific kids. What good would it be to tell Marty how I raised my kid? Well, don't tell him how you did that. Just find a way to show him. I can't even imagine what he's going through. Doing all this parenting alone? I mean, without jail, I couldn't have had the kids. <laughs> Claire, no. How's it going, Marty? I hate you. Can I answer your question? I want a cookie. I told you not before dinner. Now you're in timeout. Go to your room. No. I said yes. No. I said yes. I want to be with mommy. Hey, Marty. You're doing good. Just hang tough, honey. You all right? Oh, 
Oh, that one. Yeah. Now, on my own, man, I don't happen to agree with what your wife sent you down here to say to me. You weren't so thick. You weren't so thick-headed. You would have... You would have... You...